Hey guys, Steven and David here with ProTech. Today we're going to talk about the TAC Comp Hybrid HD. We have a new advancement mm -hmm. to share with you all, and we're going to start selling it now. Um, we, one of our suppliers recently started carrying a new level 2 retention system that is uh, a little bit more user friendly than our last one. And David here, he actually carries a TAC Comp Hybrid HD every day. I have my own personal one, but I don't carry it every day. And I thought, instead of you guys having to look at just my ugly face, why don't we add another face, face yeah. <laughs> I didn't say ugly, <laughs> uh, to our videos and have David demonstrate the TAC Comp Hybrid HD. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you the old latch, which is what he has on his rig, and then we're going to put a new rig on his uh, waistline for a different gun uh, and show you the difference. And he's going to talk about them and talk about the function mm -hmm. of each one, what each one does. And the beautiful Miss Amy that all of you are infatuated about is behind the camera today. And she's going to come in and do some close-ups and move around. And I'm actually going to step away from the camera view for just a little bit and let David take it away. This is the rig I came up with or decided on early on because I wanted something that if you're out in the, out in the public, I, mean, I don't wear a gun out in the open, but in a crisis situation in a crowd, you don't want people grabbing your gun out of your holster. So we came up with this particular style here and what it is, is, is there's a thumb latch that you press inward toward your body and allows the gun to come out pretty easy. Now, since I'm a little oversized operator and I have a little extra material <laughs> hanging out here, it's kind of tough sometimes to get in here and hit that. Now, I still like it because it's, and it, you're not going to get that gun out of there. So what we come up with. How does that one work? This works, this works pretty good. I really like it. So what, some, what is the physical function? Where, what direction are you pushing your thumb? I'm pushing the thumb toward my body and that opens the latch up to let the, the, this gate come down so that you can draw your gun. So it has some disadvantages and see, I'm, a, I'm an outside the shirt person, t-shirt in, outside the shirt. So you can see a, I don't have a shirt tucked in. So sometimes when I'm going for that, it's, Sometimes I'm going for that, it's hard to find. It's not as quick, so we came up with a, another style here. And uh, there, is a, there is one thing I like about this one, it has a different type of uh, clip. clip on it. So that clip basically, all, that, all you have to do on that clip is take your fingers and then how quick is that to come off? And what are those clips called? Speed ease clips. Speed ease clips. These are the speed ease clips. Now, typically, we don't. And I'm sorry, I tried to stay quiet as long as I could. That's all right. Typically, we don't sell the TAC Comp Hybrid HD with the speed ease clips because they're not as robust as the Molly Lock clips or as custom made mm -hmm. loops are. But David is of uh, the older generation and likes easy stuff. And, and uh, older guys, especially, like the speed ease clips. Now this next one that he's going to try on has the molly lock clips on it, but before you try that on... I'm just going to show you how easy it is to put on. Sure, okay. You just grab your belt, you slip that on there, you swing it around, and you stick it your, between your belt there, and that's how easy it, come, it comes on. Yes. So it's a little easier than the other type of clips we have, but like I said, those are a little more robust, but for me, getting in and out without a mirror it's real easy to put this rig on and take it off. So. Now, I want you to pull that one off and hold them side by side up here on the bench. And you can come up here now, Miss Amy. I'll take my black rifle coffee and get it out of the way. And this uh, customer packer. And compare the two latch mechanisms. Show them in a little bit more detail. Okay, this latch mechanism basically requires you to push in toward the body and it flips up, and I'm really satisfied with, with that until I saw this one. And again, it's pretty interesting, as it basically has a pull-down thumb mechanism. It's 
because you're pushing down on it because it's not mounted to the belt. Yeah, so it's mounted to the belt. So, the belt. Yeah, so go. I'm not pushing down on it. So anyway, so this one is a little bit different in that I don't have to push in toward my body. I just rock to the rear. Rock it to the rear, yeah. and, it, and the gun comes out. So um, I kind of like this one too. And if you notice, there's different kind of clips. These oh. are. These are called the Molly Lock clips. These are called the Speedy clips. And then we can also make custom Kydex clips. Now we're going to put it on David, and he's going to demonstrate this one. Isn't that nice? I'm putting this on because I know you don't prefer these clips. Well, and it's a little hard to do. See, I don't even need to see see these to put this on. I can put it on in the dark. In the dark. Yeah. And of course, uh, I like the ease. Of a little the thinner person clips. might have a little bit easier. Now, you ought to jerk my belt off of me to get this one off. Yeah. You can, if you're really, uh, if you really jerk this and move it around, we have been able to pull these off. So, but it takes quite a bit to do and that. If, and if you're allowed to resist it, maybe put your elbow down on yeah. it or grab hold of it, it would be a little harder. Yeah. But we like to stress test so, things in worst case. And the thing is, somebody's out. sneaking up on you trying to get your gun out of your holster. So... I get my shirt out of the way here. I should have I should have tucked my shirt in, but basically, basically you just. And on any retention, on any retention holster, it's important to not pull up on the gun before you defeat the retention, mm -hmm. because it'll cause this to want to drag some. So you actually want to push down on the gun in the holster and allow the hood to. Release. Which you're, which pretty much you're doing anyway when you grab the handle yes. and push down. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, there you go. So anyway, for me, they they both work pretty good. Although this one I kind of like. That one's a little more. That one's a little more um, natural. Yeah. Because you're wanting to bring your thumb down onto the gun, anyways. Mm -hmm. And you don't ever really want to push your thumb towards your body. Um, so this one's a little bit more kind of user friendly and yeah. ergonomically correct. They both they both work great. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, you know, a person that's a little thinner I may not have an issue with either one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just something new, and I think the fact that uh... yeah, you gotta. Don't pull up on the gun until, yes. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm doing. So anyway. Exactly, right yeah. like that. I'm trying to pull up on the gun before I do it, and it's, 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 it's uh, When you pull the gun up into the strap, yeah. it's trying to rotate off the gun, it's yeah. not gonna rotate very well. So anyway, the first time I, first time you put this on me this morning, I really liked the feel of it. Mm -hmm. uh, see, I don't have to, I don't have to reach under here and figure out whether I'm underneath my overhang or not. Mm -hmm. It's right there. I can yeah. feel it as I draw back. Exactly. So, Anyway, it's uh, I've been carrying this one for several months, mm -hmm. and uh, it works fine for me. Uh, it's just a matter of like Ford or Chevy. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a it's a personal preference. But this is something new we have that we hadn't had before. Yeah. And uh, it might be what we really put on most of them from now on. Yeah. Well, I, really, really, my only complaint about this one is it's got a little bit thicker hardware here. This portion stands off just ever so slightly more, but it's really, it's really not not that noticeable. Mm -hmm. On these smaller guns, like this, this is one built for a Glock 43X. Typically, the TAC Comp Kybrid HD is built for fuller size guns like a HK VP9. This is actually the first one we've built for a, a micro class uh, pistol. Um, so you know you got to you got to pack a lot of hardware into mm -hmm. a tiny tiny footprint mm -hmm. on one of these whereas with one of these we got a much much larger area to work with so we can fit everything in much more nicely but uh, this will be a nice rig for whoever this is going to a school resource officer or a, um, you know a security guard or even an on-duty officer um, this will be a very nice rig very robust not gonna not gonna be able to be easily grabbed off of the waistline, which is what you want. That's right, the, right. That's the whole, right? right yeah. There? That's yeah. the whole purpose of Somebody's the grabbing your gun and you, yeah. you know. Give them the old, 
elbow poke to the jaw, make them carry their teeth yeah. in the if, you're, if, you, if you have your, yeah. if you have another weapon and it's down here and somebody sneaks up behind you, yeah. uh, you know you've got to, you got to worry about trying to grab them. So, yeah. or if you're a goober and you like to stand, uh, say in the line at the convenience store, open carrying, and you've got a a cheapy holster, no manufacturing names mentioned, clipped to your pocket, and some other goober decides to come up and snatch your gun, you know, so, so let's say David is that goober, and but, but he's a goober who bought a very nice holster to be a goober with, and the guy comes up to grab the gun, oh, I can't, I can't grab it, oh, and then I pull his elbow into my corn facial tooth. corn tooth region, and then it, my corn tooth gets knocked out. And then so, yeah. So. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's the TAC Comp Cabard HD. Uh, a little bit more about it, um, it and along with all of our other holsters, they're made of Kydex 100. So this is super tough Kydex. It's 40% stronger than Kydex Calcutta T, which is what 90 plus percent of holster manufacturers use on the market today. Kydex 100 is about two to three times more expensive, but it's a way better product and our holsters we want them to be known for being super tough rugged holsters that look good and function well and are comfortable um, so we don't skimp on the materials uh, so you've got an outer and an inner shell of that and then on all of our on all of our holsters inside the waistband or outside the waistband and then our leather is grade a um, premium leather from springfield leather company Springfield Leather Company, um, or I'm sorry, no, no, not, Herman, not Spring. Oak. Herman Oak, thank you, Miss Amy. <laughs> you get you get one point for that. Yeah. Herman Oak, we used to buy it through Springfield, but now that we're big enough, we can buy it directly from Herman Oak, and it's really good stuff. I mean, each hide, each hide is about 400 bucks shipped, um, and it's very, very good, very good hide. I can't, I can't buy any better mass-produced uh, leather than what we're getting now um, and then all of our hardware we mount it with r rust resistant steel hardware stainless steel where we can get it um, and then zinc coated and phosphated hardware where we can't get the stainless steel stuff uh, and then we eyelet everything we overbuild everything uh, you know lots of lots of hardware attached so this is really a rugged piece that rides high and tight uh, to your body and is built to last you a lifetime. That's why we have a lifetime guarantee mm -hmm. uh, on all of our stuff. Um, and uh, we don't challenge folks to go break it. You know, like if you drive over it without the gun in it with your semi truck, and it's gonna break. You know, uh, but under normal use, under normal use and normal phone calls, even um, you won't have any issues. So, <laughs> you like that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're just going to ignore the call. Yeah. Isn't that nice? And unfortunately, that's my phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Probably a spam your, call. Uh, spam uh, caller. What's the doctor? Is it? Is it about your? Um, what's that rectal scope thing called? Uh, um, colonoscopy. 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 That, you don't need to go. Go to. Do I that. get one every week, whether every, I need oh, it or not. Oh gosh. DMI. We're going to edit that out, maybe, <laughs> if I remember. If it's left in, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we're really busy. We're nine weeks behind right now, mm -hmm. so uh, we don't have much time for editing. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of that, we've got a bunch of videos, got a few gun reviews that are on the machine, and they just need to be edited down and uploaded. So stay tuned. Stay with us, guys. And uh, thank you for choosing us. Mm. And uh, you got anything you want to say? Sayonara. Stay safe, guys, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>